Welcome Protégé. In the previous tutorial we showed you how to do rectangular pattern with this aluminum breadboard and that allowed us to do a whole bunch of circles with just a few operations instead of placing each circle individually and dimensioning each one. And in this tutorial we're going to show you how to do a circular pattern. Now I forgot to mention in the last tutorial that you can do a rectangular or a circular pattern on really any any shape or feature that that you decide. So for this I'm going to build a circular swivel plate. So we'll start out by drawing a center diameter circle. I'll draw this on the top plane. Make this diameter three inches. And now I'm going to start creating the slots that will allow this to swivel on a certain track. And to do the slot, I'm going to use a three point arc slot. So you click once, click twice, click three times, and then drag to establish the width. And now we have to dimension this. So you want to give this a radius, let's say 1.5. and I'll give this a width of 0.2 now I want these points to line up with each other so they're on the same line and to do that we can use one of the constraints so I'm going to click on this point hold down control click on this point and I'm going to use a horizontal vertical constraint. So that will make those two points horizontal. Now we're still not fully defined. And so I'm going to go down to this point and do another. This will do a vertical constraint. And we also have to constrain the up and down movement of this slot. So I'll just click on the origin point here and that point to make that point two. And we still have to dimension this. So I'll just keep it at point one. So one thing I'm not sure if I was able to mention, but if you add a dimension Sometimes you will get an error saying that the dimension will over constrain the sketch. That means that the dimension that you just did is not necessary. So you can go ahead and click cancel. So it looks like we have to constrain the length of it. And I'll, make, I'll just make this one inch. So go ahead and click on circular pattern. It's looking for our object. And for this one, we have to grab each line that makes up that three point slot. Now we can select the center point. And this is one reason why you want to always constrain your your shapes or parts to the origin because sometimes when you're doing these patterns you have to specify the center point say if this circle was tangent to this instead of being at the center then then doing this circular pattern would not work For type, I want to do full. You can specify some angle so it would only go up to a certain angle, not the full 360 degrees. So I'll do full, and I want to do four. So I'll increase that quantity and hit OK. 
So now all of these slots are fully defined. And like I mentioned in the rectangular pattern, if I go change any of these dimensions that defined this three-point slot, it will also change these slots. So we save a lot of time with edits. So I'm going to stop the sketch. Just click on this profile. Notice that it doesn't highlight these because we want those to be holes. Now I'll hit extrude. And we'll just make this 0.125 inches. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.